Running a business is not stressful. But do you know what is? Eating pasta while you're wearing a white shirt. But seriously though, running business doesn't have to be stressful. What's the problem is poor project management and specifically poor risk management. So what I want to show you in this video is a simple technique that you can apply right after watching this video so you can take the stress away. And trust me, the results are tremendous. I talk with people, they use this technique and they just feel better right after implementing this. So you can thank me later in comments. But for now, let's focus on this technique. The technique is called risk calendar and it's ridiculously simple and to be honest simple techniques work really well so what you do is you go to google docs and you print the calendar for this year as simple as that you print the calendar for 2020 and you circle the dates when you have risk involved so what do i mean with risk involved so probably what is really stressing you out in business is when you have to pay salaries when you have to pay your team when you have to pay contractors when you have to pay your rent when you have to pay for your car leasing or whatever this is what really stresses you those are the real stress factors so let's be very you know honest here and let's make it easier than it ha than, 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 than it then it has to be because uh, you know people make it really complicated the problem that most of the people face is that they are stressed about the money and the way to solve this is to print a calendar and circle all the dates when the risks are appearing so specifically circle the dates when you have the payments to be done so for example well the first of next month you have to pay your salaries maybe you have to pay your rent circle those dates and write down how much will you have to pay then calculate how much money you have right now and how much money do people owe you and start collecting this money this is really a basic risk prevention it's not even a risk management but after talking with, trust me, hundreds of people, I've realized most of the people think they have problems, but they don't. They are just stressed because they know at the back of their heads that they're going to have to pay for certain expenses and they just don't have money for it or they don't know how much they have and they're just paranoid about this. And obviously, there is certain cash flow involved in running a business. So really the basics of not even risk management, you know, it's a fancy term that is not necessarily applicable here, but I think it's a good analogy. But really writing down when certain risks are appearing will make this easier for you. So the first method is really circling days in the calendar when you have to pay. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have this money and you want to start working to make those payments completed. You want to start working on this today. And as you start working, then you're going to make this easier to be actually possible and you're going to get this stress away just by knowing it, not feeling that, oh, fuck, I have to pay. No, take the stress away, write down when you have to pay for certain things and that's going to take that stress away. The second method, and this is going to apply to financial uh, problems as well and really to you being stressed about the money, the second way is to make more money than you spend and approximately what I found to be true for most of the people is making 10 times more than you spend so if you're spending um, 2k for your house 1k for car leasing and I know like 2k for your expenses and like another few k on salary uh, for people then probably you want to make 100k and there is no way around this you want to make more than you spend and this amount of money that you want to make comparing to the amount that you spend has to be not slightly higher so you save a little bit it has to be much more substantially more I'm talking about 10 times more but it generally as a rule of thumb 
has to be substantially more. And you're thinking, well, well like, what do you mean, Matt? Like, that's hard. Like, how do I make 10 times more than I'm making now? Well, what's bigger pain for you right now? Write down how much you're making and connecting the results for your business. How many calls are you getting booked each week? How many sales are you closing? How can you increase this number? How can you 10x the number of calls booked so that you can 10x the revenue? This is less pain than stressing about the money that you have to pay next month for your rent. Trust me, it's less of a pain. So figure out what is less of a pain. So those are the two key reasons that make people stressed about their business. And let's make it as simple as that because this is the reality. It's not going to be that you have to meditate and suddenly you're going to feel better and do breathing exercises. Those things work, but the reality is that you're freaking stressed about the money. So handle this problem first so that you don't worry about the money. You make much more than you spend and so that you're not in this financial neediness and, you know, crawling and begging for money and being paranoid about this and make a schedule of all the money that you're going to have to pay so you are not stressed about future payments, but you have them pre-budgeted. <coughs> Sorry. You have them pre budgeted and this is the basic risk management it's not even risk management it's just like all right i know that this money i i probably gonna have to spend so i'm gonna calculate it now and put money aside to pay for all those things so i don't have to stress about it and the last thing uh sure i made my research i always do stress is directly connected with cortisol and um, i made a list of um one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 14, 15, 16 things that apparently to research increase your cortisol levels. And well, I'll be honest with you, they do help, but they don't help you closely as much as just being financially comfortable because this really takes most of the problems away. But here is the list of things that decreases apparently balances your cortisol. So this is accordingly to a bunch of studies that I researched. Actually, I'm not going to quote names of studies. I'm going to put this on my blog if you want to check it. But here are the things. Massage. Well, it makes you relax. Sure, decreases your cortisol. Walk outside. I do five kilometers a day. Uh, avoid sugar and avoid carbs. Avoid screens. Well, don't, you know, stare at blue lights all day, or if you do, then don't do it right before you go to sleep. And so Flux is the app that gets your screen yellow, or you can set this in night shift mode in Mac. Um, meditation and uh, breathing exercises, they work very well to balance cortisol. Um, gym and exhausting training that works very well, uh, especially on a fast, meaning that you're just hungry and uh, you you just exercise because then the testosterone raises. Um, antioxidant foods, uh, blueberries, avocado, eat an avocado a day, uh, olive oil, black tea, garlic. I, okay, honestly speaking for this video, I just, I just had this avocado mash uh, with um, garlic and uh, and that was pretty much in line with it. Sex, uh, limit caffeine. I usually drink three coffees a day. Now I'm limiting this to two or one coffee. Laughing, uh, listen to music you like. My neural beats are good, but classical music would do or even the music you enjoy. Uh, then uh, supplements, I made my research, I haven't tested, ashwagandha, rhodiola, rosea, multivitamin and fish oil. I ordered ashwagandha or however you pronounce it and rhodiola, whatever, however you pronounce it. I ordered it, I'm going to test it, I'm going to tell you my results. Fix your posture, Matt. And most importantly, prepare future stressors calendar those things gonna make you less stressed i'm gonna post the full list available on my blog link below if you want to download this checklist if you feel stressed right now 
download this. I'm gonna put this list and I'm gonna put a calendar so you can circle the things that you're stressed about. Um, and that's it, that's the exercise. You download this PDF, I'm gonna put this on my blog. Um, probably the link is below this video. And um, you can go through the entire checklist and probably you're gonna feel better. Hope this helps and uh, see you in tomorrow's video. Feel the life and feel our heart.